as another person in the photograph. Is there anything I can do to help? Look here. There's a person with a swollen eye who was concealed within this photograph. A dispute of some kind, you think, Watson? Possibly. But it appears to me a characteristic symptom of a rare tropical disease that is found in South and Central America. South America? Brilliant, Watson. Happy to help. Is it deadly? Well, there is a chance he survived. I shall ask Sir Charles, but who knows what he'll say. I have an idea. There is only one hospital for such illness. The Hospital for Tropical Diseases. I have friends who work there. Oh, yes? Well, the chances are slim, but I'll pay them a visit. If he's in London, they would have seen him. Sir Charles, a crime at his club, it's a terrible... Sir Charles, you informed me that you didn't know why Mr. Greystoke was here at such a time. That's correct. I have no idea. But in fact, you do. Mr. Greystoke wrote to you about him coming with another person to visit. Ah, well, yes, that is right. He raised a scandal about the Mayan calendar, so he wanted to see me before the ceremony. But I don't know exactly what it was that he wanted, or who this other person he mentioned might have been. You have a fine collection at your club, with one disturbing thing in common. Oh. All the items are from our club members. What's this supposed to mean? Never mind. I found this photograph on your wall. You're in it, but do you know who these men are? Particularly the gentleman with the swollen eye. Oh, him. That's poor Mr. Albiet. He died from fever during an expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. We were searching a Mayan Quiche temple, but everything went wrong. We were unable to enter the temple and the expedition ended in disaster. I'm here, and here is Zacharias, and there is Bernard Marley, another member. He's over there, near the pedestal. By the way, he's the fellow who built that terrible statue. He created it, oh, must have been ten years ago. So, you believe in the curse? Well, I have no other explanation, but I beg you to keep the outcome of this case a secret. No one needs to know my failure. As you wish, Holmes. 
But why are we here? If this curse is the cause of Zacharias' death, then it may strike again. I've requested of the authorities that Marley's foundry be used to destroy all of the Mayan statues that can be found in Marley. What? Destroy all of them? My God. Mr. Marley is over there, near the statue's pedestal. Poor Sir Charles. A crime at his club. It's a Mr. Terrible Bernard thing. Marley, I presume. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have to ask you about an expedition to Guatemala. Shh! Not here. It's too dangerous. I'll give you my card. Visit me there where we can talk. Gumbled Road. Excuse me, where is Grub Street? I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's the street going up the hill, not far from here. Gumbled Road. Possum Street. Excuse me, where is Grub Street? I don't know. Possum Street. <coughs> Cranny Street. Grub Street. Horse of Pedro Alvarado. He was a conquistador, I believe. Hello there, my man. Is your boss in? Ah, oh, he's in his office. It's the door near the female statue in the corner of the workshop. A drawing of Takuna Ma. No oxidation. This metal arm has never been outside. It's not part of the bowling club statue. This mechanism is quite modern. All the gears are of good quality. Strange to find it in a foundry. Fresh scratches. There were two large boxes. Hello there, my man. Is your boss in? Sorry, I'm too busy to chat.
Something large and heavy was dragged here. Two large boxes which were inside the warehouse. They were taken to Bernard Marley's office. It's probable that the missing crates contained pieces of Takunuman's statue. Apparently, Marley has built multiple statues of Takunuman. Mr. Holmes, you must forgive my escape at the club. It wasn't a safe place to talk. And it's safer here? Yes, better here. Not my office. I have secured my foundry, you know. Ah, reassuring. Did you know Zacharias Greystoke, the victim? Yes, he was a brave friend. Such good karma until yesterday. Do you recognize the unwell man in this photograph? By Jove, albeit. Yes, that's him. The poor fellow met his end in Guatemala. He was struck down by a terrible disease. You were friends? Not really, but he was an active member and a courageous man. Too courageous. You can't fight against the Kiche gods. And what of the expedition? You were seeking a Mayan temple? Yes, the temple of Tekun Uman. Another one of Charles's stupid ideas. We found it, but there was some kind of strange force that prevented us from entering. An evil aura. It was Tekun Uman's emanation. We could all feel it. Albeit's disease worsened suddenly. There was nothing we could do. And now, with Zacharias' death, the curse has reawakened. After 14 years. Prophecies are timeless. Even in the beyond, there is no escape. Did Zacharias believe in the prophecy? It is not a matter of belief. Don't you understand? Zacharias was convinced that we could stop the curse by studying the calendar. What insanity. Hmm. He sent me a message. He wanted us to visit the club and try to convince Charles to remove the calendar from the award ceremony. But you didn't go. I knew Charles would refuse. Anyway, studying the calendar wouldn't help. Tekun Uman is far too powerful. Your relationship with Charles Yellingham is... Not friendly. Well, it is reciprocal. You know, most of his expeditions are failures because he is too focused on his hypothetical career to be in politics. He has political ambition. Well, that would be an understatement. He has ambitions for the House of Lords, and the club is his means of achieving this. It's also the reason for his disastrous management. But he still succeeds in finding money. I wonder how. What's your opinion on Takun Numan's statue having disappeared? I don't know, but I have nothing to do with it. Nothing. But in fact, you do. You made the statue. That's true. But it was ten years ago. You can't blame me for that. Don't you think so? After all, it is the statue that is responsible for killing. No! It's Tekun Umar. But who could imagine that a simple statue replica would be chosen by Tekun Umar? Nobody. I have to leave you now. I've got paperwork to do. And we've spoken too much. He could hear us. Tekun Umar. Well, goodbye then. Marley is hiding something inside his office. I'll have to visit it, but at night, and with Watson.
<laughs> Caitlin Tuckers Alice is playing the piano. She disobeyed me. Well, Holmes, I was inspired to... Oh, look here. The postman has made a mistake. He's delivered a letter addressed to Miss Alice. Oh, he mistook 221B for 221C. Give it to me, oh, but... I can't help myself. I must open this letter. I need to turn on the gas burner first. I need to open it with something sharp. Miss Alice planned to live here because of me. I need to have a talk with her as soon as possible. Let's reseal it as if it was never open. I need something to apply the glue. That's it. Don't stop playing, Kate. I'm going to take some air on the balcony for a few minutes. I need to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony. I need to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony. How about telling me why you came here in the first place? Mr. Holmes, why do you ask? I hardly think that I'm accountable to you. Since you extended an invitation to my daughter against my wishes, I believe that you are. So said the father, cloaked in all his severity. My word, you almost frightened me. You won't say that. Very well. Ask Caitlin to come home now. Oh, poor child, let her play. Such insouciance. So useful for covering up disturbing secrets. And since you intend to hide the truth from her... What? We all have our secrets. You... But don't worry, Mr. Holmes. Caitlin is a sensitive child, and I like her enormously. Alice, come back in. I can do it. See? <laughs> You're wonderful. I like to think that the feeling is mutual. We wouldn't want her to know of your secrets, or for her to be unhappy. I have to go inside now. I entirely forgot. There's a man corresponding to the photograph who is a regular visitor at the Hospital for Tropical Diseases. His name is James Byron. Are you sure? That's fantastic. And we can visit him. But you should disguise yourself first. I'll introduce you as my colleague.
Dr. Watson, may I help you? Hello, Baird. My colleague and I are here to see Mr. Byron. Ah. Patients visit this department for treatment and then return home. This should be the right place. Our man might be here. That isn't our man. Mr. Byron? More doctors? Please, I've just received my treatment. I need to rest a while before I leave. We would like to ask you some questions about an expedition that took place 14 years ago. An expedition? What? What expedition? You're wrong. I've never left London. Is it not you in this photograph from Guatemala? Guatemala? Tecuna man! Ah! Ah! Dr. Baird! Come here quickly, I don't feel well! Ah! What on earth is going on? Please, calm down. I'm sorry, my dear colleagues, but Dr. Brunt is waiting to give Mr. Byron a private consultation. You can wait here. What should we do next, Holmes? Weren't you paying attention? We have to wait, but we'll take advantage of the situation. This address is almost invisible. He recently purchased Chinese tobacco. Mr. Byron is due for a consultation with Dr. Brunt. What should we do next, Holmes? Patients visit this department for treatment and then return home. Patient... A man passed by a circus. Oh, you're still here? Obviously. We're waiting for Mr. Byron. Is he not with you? No, the gentleman left directly after his consultation. Oh, he forgot to collect his belongings. Holmes, it seems that Albeit has escaped. Obviously. And he knows that we are aware of his true identity. Quickly. 
I know how to find him. Thanks to the information I obtained at the hospital, I can now deduce where Albeit is hiding. We know that Albeit paid a visit to an opium den, a crowded market, and a circus. He also purchased some Chinese tobacco. Let's find a place in London where all four elements are close together. Now we need to find a street name ending in O-O-K. Here it is. 21D Brook Street. Watson, I believe we found Albeit's flat. What should we do next, Holmes? Help! Do you hear that? Quick! We have to open the door. The door's too. The door's too strong, and the lock is too solid to break with bare hands. If I cut those ropes, the curtains will fall and block the attacker's view. This table could serve as cover. Watson, I'll try to reach those curtains to close them. Cover me.
Watson, come here. He's behind the screen. Our assailant escaped using this rope. Our attacker escaped through this skylight. What should we do next, Holmes? I need to finish here first. down. It's over now. It's gone. You? Oh. But why are you here? You're not doctors, are you? No. Well, you're half right. Shall we remove these masks? Your true name is Albeit, is it not? You were a member at Charles Yellingham's club. Yes, I was. Can you tell us what happened here? After your visit at the hospital, I quickly returned home. I was lying there on the sofa and and felt an evil presence in the room. An evil presence? Never mind. It's probably the fever. Or perhaps a living statue? Yes. It was one of the double statues. I saw its shadow. I believed that it was searching for me, that it wanted to kill me. It was... Horrible. As in Zacharias's murder, the statue came to life when its intended victim appeared in front of it. I must examine your residence. It may hold some clues. Tell us about your expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. It was in my former life. What really happened there? You were said to have died. I was ill with a terrible fever. I asked them to leave me there. I can't remember how. I only have flashes of memory. But by some miracle, I survived. I left an eye and one arm behind. It took me time, but at last I managed to return to London. Why do you use a false name? That expedition signaled the end of my career and my very life as I had known it. I changed my name and my address. Now I'm weak and useless and alone. I'm a walking dead man. Not for long. Perhaps this was it. It was my curse to fade away little by little. Tekun and man's revenge. You are aware of Zacharias's murder, are you not? Yes, 
And quite aptly, I read that he was killed with a spear. Aptly? Well, he practiced archaeology almost as though it were a sport, seeking adrenaline. Imagine his state of adrenaline when he died, him being the prey. And who would have been the hunter? Takenu man, whoever, whatever. It'll soon be over for me at any rate. There's a locked door on the first floor. May I have the key for it? All right, but there's nothing interesting inside. Well, thank you again for saving me. A statue was once here. Now it's missing. It appears that the missing statue may have escaped via the window in the roof. The iron mounting rod is broken. The surface is damaged. be its wife and son, I presume. This model forms a part of another, larger model. 1894. This model was created after the expedition to Guatemala. The interior seems well designed, but I cannot see it properly. There's a little bed in the small room. It's been used. Well, it is for my son, Gulliver. After my official death, my wife and he left for Glasgow. On my return, I installed this room. So they know about you? My boy Gulliver visits occasionally. But I wonder, what is the life of a crippled father? That will lose me again. Mr. Albeit, what is this? Well, it's impossible. How did you find it? Answer me. Seventeen years ago, I built a model of Tekken Man's temple. We stored it inside the club's globe before leaving for the expedition. I've no idea if it's still there. While in Guatemala, I had dreams about a missing part. A pyramid. Then, when we entered the temple, I experienced vivid visions. Wait a minute. You entered the temple? Well, yes, we did. And we found the pyramid from my visions. But I was too weak. I was unable to solve the mystery of its entrance. I failed there. I always wanted to understand why. So upon my return... You rebuilt this final part according to your visions and... Nothing. But I'm dying, and at least my son will see that I did my best to complete my life's work.
stay alert and you'll need to be quiet. <laughs> 